Well, it's a big week for Airbus and American Airlines fans alike. The first Airbus A321 XLR destined for the U.S. has finally been spotted, and it's looking sharp in that iconic American Airlines livery. Let's take a look at what's happening with this ultra-long-range jet in today's video. The buzz started this week when an aviation enthusiast in Toulouse, France, Airbus's home turf, snapped some incredible photos of the XLR at the plane maker's facility. Most notably, on March 25th, this brand new jet, currently registered as DAZAB, was caught completing its first runway check. That's a key milestone, signaling it's getting closer to delivery. What's more, the aircraft was spotted with its two CFM International LEAP-1A engines fully installed, a sight that's got plane spotters and industry watchers talking. For context, this isn't the first time we've seen this particular jet. Back in 2024, photos showed it with just the tail painted in American Airlines' distinctive silver and red colors, but now it's fully decked out and ready to roll. This isn't just a pretty plane, though. It's a big deal for aviation. Last year in 2024, both the Federal Aviation Administration and the European Union Aviation Safety Agency gave their stamps of approval to the XLR powered by those CFML EAP-1A engines. That certification paved the way for airlines like Iberia, Aer Lingus, Wizz Air, and now American Airlines to start integrating this jet into their fleets. Iberia, the launch customer, took delivery of the world's first commercial-ready XLR on October 30, 2024, and flew its first revenue flight out of Madrid Barajas International Airport on November 6, 2024. Meanwhile, the Pratt & Whitney engine version of the XLR is lagging a bit. ESA approval has slipped to at least later in 2025, and the FAA hasn't set a timeline yet. That's left United Airlines, which opted for the Pratt and Whitney variant still waiting in the wings. So, what's American Airlines' plan with this jet? Back in 2019, they ordered 50 XLRs, with most slated to arrive between 2025 and 2029. This specific aircraft will feature 20 private business class suites, a luxurious touch, and is set to replace their current fleet of A321, which have been workhorses on transcontinental routes. The XLR itself is a long-distance variant of the A321neo, boasting a range of up to 4,700 nautical miles. Airbus touts it as a game-changer, blending single-aisle economics with wide-body routes. In simpler terms, it's cheaper to operate than a big jet like a 787, with trip costs per passenger slashed by 45%, according to Airbus. That's a win for airlines and hopefully for travelers, too. So, there you have it. The Airbus A321 XLR is taking flight, literally and figuratively, and American Airlines is next in line to bring it stateside. What do you think of this news? Are you excited to see these jets on U.S. routes, or do you think the single-aisle long-haul trend is overhyped? Leave a comment below. Thank you.